Bryn's doing her hair. Give her two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that problem. <laughs> I don't either, no. So good morning, good afternoon, and evening, everybody around the world. It's Michael D. Groot of Staying Alive UK. And I'm just very briefly introducing this blab, socialsellingwednesday.com. Happens every week at 11 Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. British summertime. And you're very welcome. And we've got with us at the moment, Ted. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yep, I'm Ted Padromo, author of Ultimate Guide to LinkedIn for Business, Ultimate Guide to Twitter for Business. And I help companies with their online advertising and social media and social selling and all that stuff. All that great stuff. So the purpose of our Blab Social Selling Wednesday is very simply, it's very informal. We talk about social selling, social sales, uh, LinkedIn, and many other things actually crop up as people come in and ask us questions. So feel free to share with us a question you might have. Uh, we'll generally start off with a topic one or two that we'll dive into and then we can get some opinions going. So, Ted, I'm gonna put you on the spot. What what have you got this week? Well, I was on vacation last week, so I didn't spend much hey, time on LinkedIn. Where did you go? <laughs> can you believe it? Where did you go? In Sedona, Arizona. <gasps> Beautiful. Yes, that was wonderful. Hot. So back to reality. No, it wasn't. It was actually kind of cool. And actually hailed and snowed one day. You're kidding. And usually it's supposed to be like mid eighties this time of year. So yeah, we okay. had our summer clothes and we were a little chilly a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So it was okay. Wonderful, well, though. you had a rest, nevertheless. And then I came back and I see LinkedIn Pulse has changed dramatically since I left. Okay. What's changed? Because I haven't noticed. Oh, mine's totally different layout. It's got, you know, on the app on my iPad, I can subscribe to content and it shows me that content. Where Pulse on the desktop always showed me just random content. People mm. I wasn't subscribed to. And now it looks like it's kind of showing things I'm subscribed to, then it also shows editor's choices. Yeah, I've noticed the app has, has updated itself, but the desktop hasn't, has it? Yeah, mine is very different than it was a couple weeks really? ago. Really? Oh, that's cool. There's obviously, they're out on a rollout. So that. they're trying to match the desktop and the app now, it looks like. You know, that's really interesting because I think that is happening throughout I Thank think, <laughs> yeah, I, I really, very slowly and surely, if you've noticed the privacy and settings yeah. uh, is, is very much, hey, Bob. Hey, can you all hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, Thank good. Uh, what a morning. So the, pri the privacy and settings is uh, very much looking app-like. Uh, the support or the help is looking very much like you know, different colors and bigger text, and it's looking very app-like too. So it's obviously an indication where things are going to be going this year. So tell me, on the new Pulse layout that you've got on the desktop, Ted, has it got that bright blue color at the top of it? Or Yes, it actually has. It welcomes me personally. Here's your personal information. And some of it is actually things I subscribe to on the app, which is cool. good. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. That's exciting. Because I always liked it because it would give me a snapshot of all these different topics and in industries or sports or whatever topics I was interested in. In one screen, I could get really a summary. Wow. So that was pretty cool. Brilliant. One thing I don't like is they don't show you how many people viewed it and commented on it now. It's just there's no numbers, no stats. No, and I, I noticed that on the app, and when I liked and commented on somebody's post, and I might have been the first one, but it just said one like, one comment, you know, and I, I, I didn't understand that. I thought somebody must have liked and commented on this post before me. So, uh, but I couldn't 
see anywhere if anybody had. So that was a bit weird. So we can't comment on other people's comments. Hmm. Yeah. Really? Uh, hey, I Brent. couldn't. Yeah. There she is. Welcome. No, I tried. Uh, I guess I'm. I have two Twitter accounts. Yeah. Uh, apparently. And yes. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly, no, I know, and so I just logged in under my other one, but my face is odd. I mean, not my face, but my my. Sure. I don't yeah. even know where that. Yeah. yeah, but I don't even know where that image came from. Maybe but it's I... a fill in that uh, that Blab does automatically or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, when I logged into Blab this morning, it said I was doing a Blab called Blabbing with Gary, and it was live. I'm like. <laughs> 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 wow. But I couldn't find it to watch it. <laughs> Funny. Wow. Oh, Ted, wow. you are I thought my Twitter account got hacked or something and somebody was blabbing with Gary. <laughs> Ted is blabbing with Gary. <laughs> uh, oh, will you uh, stop blabbing with Gary, please? <laughs> I'm jealous. Who's Gary? I don't know. <laughs> That's why I tried to tune in and see who Gary was. Yeah. Who am I blabbing, <laughs> who am I blabbing with now? Oh, oh God. God. This is so funny. This uh, artificial intelligence and smart computers. I don't know if it's that good. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's artificial. Yep. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, Precisely. My God. It was oh, the virtual God. Ted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ted, so anything else? You've talked about um, your pulse has changed. You're blabbing with Gary. And, okay, you've been on vacation, so is there anything else you've got? No, I just noticed the privacy and settings changed. and nothing big. i got to play around today and really see what they changed over the weekend. Right, great. Yeah. Right. Twitter's making big changes. Oh, I saw so. that. Yeah, I made my list for today. Oh my God! Ooh. So you have to retweet your own tweet, right? To so I, I actually I'm writing it as my blog post for um, Sunday, but I thought I made a list. I'm looking for my list. I made a list of the things of, of the five major changes they're making. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you going to share it with us? Um. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> you just said I've made the list four times. Yeah. Okay, well, I finally found Check it one. twice. <laughs> yeah, so here, he, yeah, the, the challenge was I made the list. Now I found it. Okay. Uh -huh. Awesome. So the first one, I, I can actually copy my little thing, which is not my. So, okay, replies. So, when replying to a tweet, ad handles will no longer count toward the 140 character count. Whoa, cool. That's cool. This will make having conversations on Twitter easier and more straightforward. No more penny pitching your words to ensure they reach the whole group. Okay. Are these so your that's words? awesome because what happened before, right, is you'd retweet something and the end of the tweet would go away to make room yeah. for the beginning of the retweet. I mean, I know you guys know that, but I'm saying that for our audience, right? All right. So that's what we're Vast happened. audience, yes. So, well, in replay, hey. and replay, yeah, we are replayed right. everywhere, so you can but, find us wherever. Yeah. So, so the major, the major benefit of that is when you retweet something, you're not losing any piece of the original tweet. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Right. Next one: media attachments. When you add attachments like a photo, GIF, videos, polls, or quote tweets, that media will no longer count as characters with your tweet more room for words. So this is great because when you, like I will write a tweet to go out and then I upload a picture and I'm over right? Mm -hmm. And you guys yep. that? Constantly. And I'm like, wait a minute, how many, like, I, and I didn't even ever know how many characters that upload was going to take until you uploaded it. Right. Right. So, uh, so usually to do that well, you would have done that first. But, mm -hmm. um, Anyway, so that's really good news because you can upload all that stuff. It won't affect your 140 count. Yay. Yay. Number three, retweet and quote tweet yourself. 
will be enabling the retweet button on your own tweet. You can easily retweet or quote yourself when you want to share a reflection. So why I love this, because I think it's really- well, I, Can you repeat that? Because I, I don't okay. understand that. So if you put out, a, if I, I send out a tweet and Bob goes, oh, I like that tweet, I'm going to retweet or I'm going to quote it and add something to it, mm -hmm. then, you know, so that's an awesome thing. Now you can do that for your own. So it's like you can comment on your own LinkedIn post. Okay. You can sort of comment on your own tweet. Got so, it. <clears throat> Um, if I put out a picture, but I forgot to tag people, I can now quote that and mention them in that, Very cool. in that quote tweet. Very are, cool. are these changes live now? No, it's over the next three months they'll be rolling out. Oh, okay, okay. Um, was that number four? One, two, that was number three. That was number three. Okay, my, oh, maybe there's only four. Okay. No, we need five. I'm sorry, we need five. I know, I over-promised and under-delivered. I'll make one up. But number four that's legit is no more period in front of the at symbol to show up in searches. So right now, if, if you just do an at handle, it will not show up if someone else looks at that news feed. It's more like a private mention, right? Yeah. yeah. Unless you use a hashtag, it will show up in a hashtag search, mm -hmm. but you do not need the period anymore, or you won't need it anymore. Oh, so, that's good. That's good. That's good. Not that was many people knew about that anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is true. They thought they were replying to the world, and they're only replying to that person. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. But it, it will go away, so you know we, we won't need that anymore. Um, Perfect. So those are the, the, the four major changes. So the fifth, I'm going to like totally go like rogue here. So the fifth major change I'm going to throw out there is that Twitter will be much more user friendly for social selling for lots of reasons. I think a couple of them, particularly the fact that you can share videos and GIFs and other things. I think, and still be able to explain what they're going to get in enough characters. So that's my number five. Twitter is becoming more social selling friendly. Great. I yeah, would agree with that's that. That's awesome. That's big news. I, it's, cool. it's, it's very cool. I just wish they would go one step further and actually um, take out URL character counts out of the 142. That would really make it ideal, in my opinion, because. Um, because then you get that full 140 characters to to, uh, to concentrate on just your message. Um, but beyond that, I think that uh, everything else is is really good. And like and like Bryn said, it's definitely going to become more social selling friendly now. That's great news. Oh, that's yeah. Twitter hasn't had anything major happen to them for quite a while. So since, is, since they launched, almost it seems like actually. Well, they had a few <laughs> user interfaces. Yeah, changes, yeah, but. yeah. A couple of things like that, but I mean, but nothing. I mean, but nothing solid to the actual reason why people come come to Twitter, and that's to uh, uh, spread their messages. Mm -hmm. And and there were rumors a few months ago, right, that there was mm -hmm. going to be no more limit on the amount of characters and everybody was going to go, oh, my God, what's going on? Right, yeah. Yeah, I think there needs to be a limit. Otherwise, we're going to yeah. get spammed like crazy. Yeah, I do, yeah. too. I I definitely agree with that. One of, one of the things that I like, and, and I think this would be a very cool thing for them to integrate, is – so I use something called ClearSlide. I don't know if you – well, Bob, you might be familiar with ClearSlide, right? Yep. Yes, I am. So, of it. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it. I'll show, I, I'm happy to show it to you guys. There's a lot of reasons. It does a, a join.me type thing, but that's not the power behind it. The real power behind the clear slide, I think, is you can email out content and share content, and you can have gatekeepers, and you can see who's opening it and how long they've looked at it and if they forwarded it and all that fun stuff. So I would love Twitter to integrate with a clear slide like product. So that we can link to a piece of content that we can then begin to track engagement and if they like it, and it's really cool. So that would truly make Twitter well, a really tool. 
There is a guy in India we know who is working on something. He hasn't told us what. We've asked him to come. Oh, and yeah, have that's a plan. right. Yeah, that's right. He is working he on saying. something like that. He says. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but Clearsight has it down, so I don't know if they're gonna be able to compete. But um, it's it's a pretty cool product. I'm, if you go, I'm gonna actually put a link in. If you go to my my profile, which you don't have to do, except I'd love the views, so please feel free. Um, <laughs> Build that SSI. <laughs> under yeah, under that, um, here, I'm going to share this link. So this is a link to LinkedIn templates. It's useful information for people anyway. And this is on my projects on my LinkedIn page, so people can go see it. This is a clear slide product. So if you click through there, you will see in order for you to actually access those templates, you have to give me your contact information. That's right. Name and email. Right. Yep. So At a minimum. Yep. I, it really becomes like Twitter cards are lead generation cards, right? So that's a, that's something that we do. But this is really if we've got contacts and connections that we want to find out who's looking at stuff and do they are they really interested? I think that becomes a huge lead gen. So I will probably be sharing that link, but if, if Twitter actually integrated with something, it would be very cool. Hmm. Yeah, okay, it could but be. It even be so, cool. I mean, those are great ideas, and yeah, who knows, maybe we'll get those. But I think what they've done there is a good step in the right direction, and hopefully they'll get a bit more usage and, and growth. Um, Let's hope so. Anyway, well, I actually remember that 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 one study from last year, and and I forget who conducted it, but it was a study of B two B salespeople and and their use of social. And when they were asked what their favorite um, social platform was for for sales, Twitter at least last year, Twitter actually edged out LinkedIn. So 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 I definitely think that um, you know that it's probably being used more than we think that it's being used basically. And, uh, and so, I mean, you know, adding all these things would, would, would definitely be good. And heck, maybe there's, there's more of a true, uh, B2B play for, uh, for Twitter by, um, by doing this stuff rather, rather than consuming, a, uh, focusing a bit more on the consumer market. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I think the direct messaging in Twitter is, is grossly yes. underused. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And there's not many people that direct message mm -hmm. uh, back and forth. And if you do send them a message, there's very few that actually come back and engage. It seems to kind of fall on deaf ears a lot of the time. Yeah. But, and of course, there is no character or I think a thousand character limit in direct messaging. So there there used space. to be a character limit, but that's gone now. Yeah, that's gone. That's it's number not five. I'm adding that. Yes, yeah. that's it. That's it. Go. Perfect. There, there you go. Now you're not. Yeah. Now you're over promising. No, under promising and over delivering. I always get those mixed up when I say <laughs> over promising and under delivering or whatever. God, I need beer. Okay. Um, what about you, Bob? What What have you got? Anything that you found, discovered, heard? Seen? You know, actually, I wasn't sure if Bryn was going to be on, so I'm actually going to hand it over to her if she wants to talk about it. But she discovered something about um, downloading contacts. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, so so Bryn wasn't going to be on. I was going to share that, but since Bryn is on, and I do think that it's important, if you don't mind, Bryn, why don't you go ahead and uh, and and share your recent experience about that? Yeah, I will, and I actually got a, a response back today. But I do want to just mention I shared a link. It's the twitter.com slash search dash dash advance. Yeah, this is a totally underutilized tool. I don't know if you guys are using it. But this is Twitter's search. Oh my so God, just, I didn't know that happened. Yeah. I know, it's like the secret, right? So this is, I think, like LinkedIn's advanced search. So you yeah. can start to find your decision makers. I do want to just add to what Bob said <clears throat> about Twitter. I do believe they had the edge over LinkedIn and social selling because consumer was part of that. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that. So, yeah, so social selling has been adopted. Excuse me one second. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. See my, or 
Yeah. He'll be hey, back. Michael's chair. Okay. Coffee break. Yep. Um, yeah. So I, so I just wanted to add to that, that, that I don't think in the B2B world, Twitter has an engine yet. So just sharing that. Okay. Um, number, what is my next? Oh, so what happened with advanced search? So for some of us, not all of us, when you go to export your connections, it reverted back to the scary days of when they were going to send you an archive in 24 hours. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's what mine shows up. And for some people, including me, the connections CSV is not in that archive. So that has happened to a few people now. I export them every single week every week and i don't do anything with them i just have that because you know well i just think you know Bryn, do you have headphones at all um i don't know if i have them here what am i getting feedback yeah we're getting some echo ah okay uh give me a minute i'll go find them bob you can take over okay yeah so um Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I just did what, what Bryn was talking about, basically. So um, it looks like that I still have the capability to download um, uh, my connections directly to a uh, Microsoft Outlook file or Outlook or whatever, basically. But but from what Bryn said, evidently some people, or at least she has been seeing, you know, a return to the bad old days, basically, and. Um, and uh you know so yours not, is fine is yours yeah fine? mine's fine i i just did it and i just got the full download without a problem yeah so when i go to that page and there are a lot of people apparently so okay. hmm. um I, interesting but it's not everyone and so i got the lovely linkedin reply message today that said it's a known problem oh wow oh so it's more like a bug than a feature for once well, as far as, yeah, yeah, it's just one that really scares me. Um, mm -hmm. There are a lot of changes that are frustrating for me. Not having the ability to export my connections is a big one. Yeah, so I would agree with that. Um, hopefully, we will. Yeah, so I still have. Uh, can I can I share a screenshot? I don't think so. Can I share? Not, not with what, not unless we jump off. <laughs> I'll jump off real quick. No, 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 no. It's okay. Like I, I said, just, I won't jump off. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, can I? If I jump off, can I share it? No, you need to be uh, one of the people. I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, I know. I yeah, I have an easy way to do this. I'm just gonna. I'll get it in a second. I'm just going to upload okay, it to my great. website. So anything else, Bob? That's just in, in in terms of changes, I haven't noticed anything else as of late. I'm just going through things just, just to make sure. Um, no, that's it for me. Great. Okay. I, I haven't got any real things that I've noticed that I wasn't aware of previously. Um, I... I have had a lot of people mention or being, you know, reasonably upset about the fact that the connections database on the network, on the My Network, you know, the, the facility to filter there is just been so reduced. Yeah, it's stripped, basically. And uh, people are pretty frustrated by that. And I think they don't realize that, of course, you can inquire on your own network um, mm -hmm. in different ways when you use search. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it might be useful for people, you know, we need to have a tutorial to help people with that, I think, at some stage, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, to show there is another way where you can inquire on your, your it may not be as easy as it was, mm -hmm. um, but hey, the other thing, I've been chatting with uh, somebody on the uh, product engineering front. I'm not exactly sure where she is based or what responsibility she has, but she's been very helpful, if you remember, around the calendar, um, the, the calendar syncing 
part with with your calendar in the app okay. and she's been communicating with me a lot on that and i i reached out to her the other day because you know the reminder feature inside the profile um mm -hmm. that is basically been rendered useless today because if you put a reminder in the only place it will show up is on your connections page at the top where the cards are where you've got birthdays anniversaries and, and job changes okay. and if you go through all the cards if you have scheduled a reminder on a profile you might be lucky if you find it but it's random you know all these cards are sorted in a very random way hmm. so i reached out to her and i said hey wouldn't it be a cool idea if, if the desktop isn't doing it with reminders why don't we have reminders show up inside the app you know under my network and you can see all the little notifications about you know you see the notifications on job change birthdays anniversaries and now calendar appointments right. so anyway she came back and said basically um reminders is so underused uh that many not many people are using it well of course they're not because when they removed the reminder email that came out mm -hmm. once a day which had the job mm -hmm. changes anniversaries and birthdays and reminders on it it basically rendered it useless mm -hmm. so anyway she kind of gave me the heads up that it might disappear in the future <laughs> because mm -hmm. no one is using it so I, I wasn't surprised, but I'm also sad because yeah, thinking, instead of improving it, they should improve it, not take it away. I know, I know. Yeah. So, so that's that's the only bit of news that I've got that I, I think it's not going to be there for much longer. So here is something I'd love to see. So if anyone talks with anyone in LinkedIn, mm. what I would love to see is when you get to someone's profile, if there are any reminders. If there are any things that um, relate to that person, it should come up in like a little stream on the right hand side, like news about this connection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could see that. Or even yeah. if it's a drop down with recent activity, should include yeah. maybe mm -hmm. the job change or promotion or whatever, like, or birthday or whatever they're tracking. Mm. Yeah. That should be available in every single profile you jump into. Well, what we should do is do, do a little mock-up of what it should look like and, and send that to them and go, this is what we Here. need. <laughs> Here, code it. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like the tagging. We can tag people, but we can't use the tags. <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah. <laughs> we can export them. Yeah. <laughs> and then... And then actually there's one thing that I don't know if you guys have, have noticed or maybe it's just my account, but um, this morning I've, I've got three people um, who have sent me invitations and I have been trying to approve them all morning long and LinkedIn <sighs> keeps coming back with, with, with them not being approved. So I don't know if anybody else has seen this. Okay. As me. So I saw this about two months ago. Okay. They are actually being approved. If you go check them out, they're your first degree connection. Actually, they're not. I mean, I oh. actually did look at that. So yeah, one and oh, well, then I had a different two, issue. Two, yeah, no, and and three, yeah, none of them have 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 been approved. Oh, I, my my child is calling me. I gotta run. He's in school, so hopefully everything's okay. I'll be right back. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. So this is the in and out lab today, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. It's so it's so oh God! <laughs> Wait a sec. See if I can. No, Bob. Yay! Yay. Yay. Okay. Is it Friday? <laughs> yeah. I, it, well, it almost is for for some people. I'm taking half the day off because of the holiday here in the U.S. So, uh, which holiday are you having? It's Memorial Day. Oh, what? Yeah, it's on Monday. <clears throat> yeah, it's on Monday. Actually, we have a bank holiday as well. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So the the other thing I've done, I've been very brave, and you guys might have already done this, but I'm perhaps late in coming. I've over the last few weeks, I've been monitoring the amount of emails I get from LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and they're just still far too many. 
and not counting a couple of sales navigator ones i get i get about 18 different types of emails from linkedin mm -hmm. anything from invitation requests to acceptance you know acceptances through to commenting through group notifications da -de -da -de -da. anyway there's about 18 or so i might and i the reason i knew i took them out of my regular inbox and put them into a folder and i went my god this, it's like oh my god i got hundreds of emails i've got to read and I, mm -hmm. I didn't realize i was taking this time now with the linkedin app i don't need all of these emails anymore because all the notifications that I would have been getting by email are being notified on the app. I, that's true. That's a good point. And so I've I've gone into settings and I, I've switched I've switched them all off with the exception of mm -hmm. the invitation requests and acceptances. Those are the only ones that I'm allowing to come in. Everything else I can get inside the app so my inbox has reduced significantly as a result and it's brilliant absolutely perfect <laughs> and i'm not missing any any news or any notifications actually you know we get an email on pulse as well and stuff like that so i've said i've been using the pulse app more yeah and i've been using the groups app more just because I don't want to be looking at emails with all of these things on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I decide when I want to go and dive in and have a look at these things rather than emails being sent to me saying, you've got to look at this. Right. I never look at them anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's the point. So yeah, and my productivity is improving now. I love that. Nice. So that's, that's, basically my my news for what i've been doing so what else have you got bob is this something else we can talk about uh i have about nothing. 10 minutes just so you guys know okay nothing, my, nothing yeah. else that i've seen recently just just in terms of a linkedin except for like the the one thing that literally cropped up this this morning for for me personally so i don't you know who knows about that but uh but no that's it for me michael I would really like to understand how a company that size can have so many glitches. So many, I mean, with all of their uh, programmers and like, you would think that this is stuff that would be stable by now. Mm -hmm. Well, I think they're I moving so fast. They just can't test all the different components and together and then. Well, maybe they should stop changing well. things. And and I mean for a company that 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 you would think moves fast, I mean just from our talks with them directly, they don't move that fast. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. you know, I mean there's a lot of uh, levels that decisions need to be made going up and going down and things like that. So so you would think that they would have time to test the stuff, but I don't know. Well. You know, it's it's big organization syndrome, isn't it? It's communication, it's alignment, it's back to priorities. And you know, they've had a few kind of um, issues over the last few months in terms of whether it be share price or reputation in the financial market. And so they're focusing, what I'm noticing very much so is that they are forcing us to go back to the site. You know, they are trying to get up their um, their views level up. I know they keep saying they're up, they're up, they're up, but they want them even higher in order to get these, these, sure. the investors happy. So they sell um, heads, yeah. And it always so comes back to that. It always comes back to that. So the priority will be on engagement, get people back to the site, get people back to the site. How are we going to do that? And those are the kind of things that take priority over perhaps some bugs that are lingering. I mean, there is one bug. I don't know if, if any of you are I'm sure you are administrators in groups, mm -hmm. but there's been one bug that's been there for years now, which is it has a little number that says, you know, pending discussions or something that need to be approved. And there's no, never anything there. Now it says number, used to say one in red, and now it says two, but there are no discussions there. Mm. The no that happens, that happens with my inbox. 
My inbox yeah. will say I have one unread, and then I go search unread, and there's none. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's frustrating. It's it's those little buggy things that go on for years and years and years. And when you query it, they go, yeah, yeah, we know about it. We don't know when it's going to be sorted. But it's on somebody's to-do list, but it keeps being pushed down and down and down. It's number 1,000 on their list. <laughs> yeah. It's probably, probably more like 10,000, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I got a survey on a health thing that they didn't help me with. And I'm curious what they do with it. So it was a survey. So I have a major issue in that on LinkedIn, my Twitter is social sales link, and I want to switch it over to be just Bryn Tillman. And I can't. It's an error. So I actually reached out and said, you know, I'm working with another company now. It's inappropriate for me to be always advertising a different company when I'm tweeting stuff out for the new company through yeah. LinkedIn. Right. right. So it should be me. So I can't change it. And then I they keep closing it on me. And I keep opening it and saying, I don't want you to close this. This is not a closed issue. So they're like, well, it's been it's been set up to like the higher ups and this case is closed. Oh. I reopen it and I'm like, no, this case is not closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I know I know they are evaluated on how many open cases and how long yeah. they take to close. And I know that I'm That's going to right there. And screwing up their numbers, right? But I'm like, this is not. And then so I reopen it with, this is not closed. It will not be closed until it's resolved. Mm -hmm. Right? That's fair. Good for you. Yeah. Right? You're right. Mm -hmm. So then I get a survey, which is crazy, immediately following saying, how did we do? Oh, my wow. God. Wow. No. That was so, the wrong question to ask. Yeah. I'm like, I have my diatribe ready to go, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, are you satisfied with the way you've been treated? No. I mean, there's all, everything was no. And then what can we do to improve? I'm like, fix yeah. my issue. Wow. That is <laughs> That's what you can do. Fix but, it. But I can't change my Twitter. That's weird. That's, that's that is strange. Ridiculous. What that's if, what if I worked for a company and now I am no longer there, but I'm tweeting on their behalf. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. It's ridiculous. If you went to I a mean, competitor. <laughs> that's so yep. basic a thing, in my view, you know, there are not many people that can't fix that or even, they don't even have the problem in the first place. How right. does well, like, like, can you just do it yourself? I'll give you my login. Just go, you guys go do it. Just change it. Yeah. yeah. But I get an error when I go to edit my, Twitter, it brings an error. And they said, we can recreate that on your end. We see it happening. Okay, great. You, you yeah. can't delete it. it. I'm sure you've done this. If you've deleted it, then gone it. out and gone back in again. When it, I can't edit it. When I hit edit, it gives me the error. Huh. Oh my God. The dreaded error, yeah. Computer says no. Yeah. Well, I've tried it on like 10 different computers. Anywhere I go, I'm like, can I log into my LinkedIn and see if this will work <laughs> on your computer? I'm like, okay, but it doesn't. Totally mad, totally So mad. I have to run because my son, who was in the finals today for track, left his track shirt at home, which was my phone call. Oh God. <laughs> I've got to go deliver that. So do that. That's delivery service. Yeah. 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 So it is very well. I mean, I, I'm delivering it three hours before he runs, but he needs it. So, guys, have Thank a wonderful run. Watch Facebook to see how they do. My boys do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Do a live stream on Facebook for us. Oh. They're, hur they're hurdles. Yes. They're hurdles. I don't know. I haven't done live stream yet. I usually record it and then upload it. Run alongside of them while they're doing the hurdles. That there you go. Really oh, yeah, they'll love me for that. Mom of the year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye. 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 See you, Bryn. Well, I have some good news about LinkedIn. Yeah, let's have some great news. Yeah, let's have some good news. I've mentioned it a few times that silly little happy birthday message is getting me more appointments than anything. Wow. Wow. You just say happy birthday, and we have three different lines we ask now. Are you doing anything fun? Or we say, did you do anything fun? And I'll sweat about 
30 to 40% of the time, they actually reply and tell me what they did for their birthday. <laughs> and that just starts a conversation, which I just carry on in a couple yep. of emails back and forth. And that's great. It's ridiculously man. simple, but it works. Awesome. Thank you for reminding us again about yeah, that. I, yeah. My assistant does it every day. So she's having conversations with people. And she spends just five, 10 minutes a day doing the happy birthday. Wow. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's excellent. Cool, cool, cool. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Who would have thunk, exactly. Okay. So if there isn't anything else that we've got to do, shall we close it off? Yeah, I yeah, I think that's great. I think we had a good discussion uh, for 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 the part that I was here for, at least because uh, because there weren't uh, obnoxiously loud lawn people next door. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. But anyhow, so anyhow, um, yeah, no, I think, um, I think that we did good here. I, I, I especially like that, that we hit Twitter a little bit. Um, I, it's, it's actually, uh, especially cause I'm back to publishing on, on LinkedIn and my other channels again, I may actually, um, I may actually do a couple of, of more Twitter focused articles too, because, because I think that that's something that, you know, that I definitely overlook. And actually, in my training with with people links um, <clears throat> to the clients there, uh, it's not like that. There's resistance there necessarily, but um, but because a lot of times they're they're getting introduced to just this idea of, of social selling in in general, they think that doing LinkedIn stuff is 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 not only going to be enough for them, but it seems to be like um, um, an even bigger time chunk out for them uh so i guess it's going to be kind of my thing to prove to people that you know just integrating twitter in really doesn't take a lot more time and yeah. and 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 the exposure that 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 you can get which you know which which then you plow into all of the uh social selling principles that we all t uh, teach um you could really you know just explode your business even more, especially because Twitter is much more open in terms of people just following you and um, and and just with the search and everything else. And, and just because people search, I think Twitter a, a lot more just for messages than than I think LinkedIn. I mean, I I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I I don't really search LinkedIn for like hashtags or or just general information. I'm I'm usually going to either Google or I'm going to a Twitter specifically so it might be time to actually tap into that um uh, vein of gold a little bit more yeah i i think in terms of having a uh, let's call it a target list prospect list or buyer list potential or engagement list mm -hmm. twitter is much better for doing that I would agree. To LinkedIn, you know, you can create a list which is private. People don't know they've been added to it. Yeah. And, and you can, you know, keep monitoring those people mm -hmm. and making sure that you're engaging with their tweets if they are active there. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. The the only thing I found is when I look for a lot of lots of folks on Twitter on LinkedIn, I connected to them. I then looked whether they were on Twitter to put them into a list and they didn't have they weren't active on twitter i mean and then you kind of you know then the road kind of stops a little bit in terms of being able mm -hmm. to do that bit there and then you've got to do more inside linkedin but there isn't anything in linkedin that makes it easy to see their activity uh for one list of people that you would like to engage with it's different with the sales navigator product i appreciate yes. that mm -hmm. but not where if you've got the regular product and not sales navigator then then you you're not able to do that as much and i think linkedin is uh sorry twitter is easier to do that so i agree with you a little bit of focus on twitter will be good mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. perhaps we should do that next week all right yeah sure so 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 next week will be a well, we probably can't, can't call it a, a LinkedIn free zone, but because um, no, no. <laughs> it's, I mean, I mean, that's just impossible to do. But I mean, but maybe focusing on on Twitter a little bit more, maybe even promoting it like that too um, would be uh, would be the uh, thing to do. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds good. That sounds okay. good. Okay, great. Do you, do you want to close it off, Bob? 
Yeah, sure. I can close it down. So we are here every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern. However, that translates for you in terms of uh, your time zone. We are always at uh, socialsellingwednesday.com, assuming that I update the link forwarding to the to the latest one. But it's always at socialsellingwednesday.com. So uh, join us and, 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 and we also get rebroadcast or re labbed or re whatever you call it anymore uh on, on, on replay i like that the, the shorter the better on demand um, yes on de <laughs> on demand exactly yeah yeah you can catch us on demand in, in a wide variety of places so um and uh, feel free to join us uh we usually have a um a, a window open sometimes we don't but we're always monitoring chat as well so you can pop in your questions via that or you can join us uh, live on the broadcast so until next week, uh, thanks for joining us and have a good uh, good week, a good holiday if you're if you're in the U.S. And see you next week. Thanks. Thanks. See you. See you next.